Whether you like it or not, American Chopper is without a doubt one of the most recognizable and diverse reality shows of the past 20 years. If you've ever wondered why the show is still relevant so long after its premiere in 2003, the answer is actually fairly straightforward. While the show's business antics and brilliant motorcycle modifications first drew viewers in, the intense family drama is what undoubtedly kept them tuning in for a while. Nevertheless, despite its popularity, American Chopper was abruptly cancelled in 2010. Despite the fact that a number of spin-offs have since been produced, many people continue to wonder why the show was abruptly cancelled in the first place, and why its subsequent airings were so brief. And this is what we are going to unravel in this video. So stay with us until the end to find out the real reason why American Chopper ended. Debuted in 2003, the American Choppers showcased the bike-building skills of the workers at Orange County Choppers in New York. Millions of people watched in awe as father and son team Paul Toodle Sr. and Paul Toodle Jr. built each custom chopper-style motorcycle, mesmerizing them with their inventive designs, superb fabrication skills, and soap opera-like personal tragedies. The arguments, the court case, and the breakup were all shown on television. They revolutionized the way car-themed TV shows were created, which delighted TV executives as viewership skyrocketed. However, the Toodle family's internal conflicts were also the cause of the show's official cancellation in 2019. American Chopper averaged 7.2 audience points at the time of its cancellation in 2010, which indicates that several million people watched each episode. That proves that poor numbers were not a valid excuse for the show's cancellation, because it was incredibly amazing and good incentive for TLC to want to keep running the show. What was it then? To understand this, it is necessary to go back to 2008, when Paul Toodle Sr. confronted his son Paul Jr. about the latter's propensity for arriving late to work. Paul Jr. didn't enjoy this, and the confrontation rapidly turned into a heated verbal argument between the two. As if that wasn't enough drama, Paul Sr. fired him right there, in front of all their employees and for the world to see through the show. However, despite the significant argument between father and son, Paul Jr. returned to the show some months later to fill the role of a contractor. However, that arrangement was short-lived, because in the middle of 2009, he left once more to start his own company selling camp stoves. When Paul Sr. attempted to coercively purchase his son's ownership stake in Orange County Choppers at that time, a court dispute that raged until late 2010 resulted. Additionally, the company was being sued for fraud and design plagiarism by former employee Cody Connolly and artist Justin Barnes, respectively. However, they weren't going to wait until those legal matters were resolved, and the termination of American Chopper was already confirmed by TLC in February 2010. So the legal issues its performers were facing and the drama it would undoubtedly produce were the underlying reasons for the cancellation, even though the network wouldn't accept it. On the other hand, Paul Jr.'s intentions to start a company specializing in stove design were short-lived, forcing him to return to his previous line of work as a chopper builder. He decided not to make the same mistake again, so this time, Rather than returning to his father's garage, he opened his own business, Paul Jr. Designs. Being independent also opened up new opportunities for him because TLC featured him and his company in the new series, American Chopper Sr. vs. Jr., which made its debut in August 2010 and was considered to be the first spin-off of the original series. Paul Sr. Toodle and Orange County Choppers were also part of Sr. vs. Jr., which put the two shops in some sort of competition. However, there was always one restriction. Father and son would hardly ever speak to one another on the show. Given the multi-million legal dispute between them that was taking place off-camera, that was a wise choice. However, Paul Sr. and Jr. collaborated on a bike in the fourth season of the show but their relationship remained far from perfect. TLC ultimately decided to terminate the series in 2012, without providing many reasons. 
Craig Poligian, the show's producer, was honest about it, though, stating that he had a terrible time filming the show as well because of his complicated relationship with Paul Jr., which at one point even resulted in Toodle's termination. Poligian believed the show had more promise despite this. It's been a resilient, compelling show. After acknowledging that he had conflicting emotions about the network's choice, he remarked, Right now they're telling me it's cancelled. And Craig Poligian was accurate too, because American Chopper still had a lot of potential. Its second spin-off, Orange County Choppers, made its premiere in early 2013. However, this time on the network CMT. The series focused more on Paul Sr. and his business, therefore the idea of the father-son competition as a whole was also left behind. Sadly, this new show was also short-lived, and its final episode was broadcast in early 2014. Later that year, a special episode called Shack Bike, which focused on the construction of a motorcycle for basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal, was broadcast. The only time the series was revived, it pleased fans, but also highlighted the still shaky bond between Paul Sr. and Jr. by leaving out the oldest Toodle son. After that, the Discovery Channel's decision to revive the original series American Chopper in 2018 caught everyone off guard. The fact that the show was returning to television after a four-year hiatus was stunning enough. But what was even more shocking was that many people were overjoyed to learn that Paul Sr. and Jr. had made up after 10 years of being on bad terms. The challenge of mending the relationship was not simple. Paul Jr. went so far as to write a book named The Build, in which he discussed the difficult road he had to travel in order to start his own company after being sacked from Orange County Choppers by his father, whom he unfavorably referred to as a monster. That's something which Paul Sr. admitted had hurt him, but also was the starting point to leave behind such a negative and damaging episode of their lives. We sat down and talked about it. Listen, stuff happens. People have their own way, he told the New York Post in 2018. However, father and son weren't going to work together at the same shop in the new show, even as they were gradually repairing their relationship. They both made that quite apparent, yet the public still got to witness them collaborate on a few projects. Overall, American Choppers was only revived for two seasons before it was once more discontinued in March 2019. Once more, Discovery failed to provide an explanation, but some fans claimed Toodle's move to Florida and desire to become a YouTube sensation were the real reasons the show was cancelled. Then, people finally blamed the cancellation on Senior's off-camera legal issues despite the fact that Senior's manager later refuted those claims. However, this time it wasn't about Paul Jr., rather it was about his bankruptcy and other financial difficulties. After that, Discovery made the announcement that American Chopper would return to the network in early 2020, with a two-hour special episode titled The Last Ride. The announcement wasn't shocking enough, though as there had already been rumors that the cast had resumed filming the show. Nonetheless, the fact that Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. would be working together on a project, something that hadn't truly happened for years, was more intriguing than the series' brief reappearance itself. Even though this was wonderful news, the idea behind the final trip left fans with the impression that Paul Sr. and company were permanently leaving the series. However, given that American Chopper has been off and on television for more than 10 years, it's possible that the show will return to TV soon. If American Chopper is remembered for anything, it will be for the fact that it transcended beyond television and into other mainstream media. The American Chopper Argument Meme, a picture sequence that was inspired by the argument between Paul Sr. and Jr. back in 2008, may be the most well-known of them. It gained popularity when internet users began posting images with the original phrases altered to fit other contexts. However, the fact that the show served as the inspiration for two video games created by Activision Values and Create Studios respectively is less well recognized. 
In addition, American Chopper served as the basis for the one-season Comedy Central spoof series American Body Shop. When all of these factors are taken into account, it is difficult to ignore the enormous influence the American Chopper franchise had on individuals and on the reality television genre. So, whether or not the show makes a quick TV comeback in the future, its legacy will most certainly remain. That's all for today. If you are interested in our channel, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe.